Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, don't do what I've just done because I'm a fool. I very nearly got, nearly got killed. I'll let you know about that and we're going to get into the video proper. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And now I'm going to get on with the video. I've come to Sandwell Valley Country Park, which is a bit of a journey away from where I live and I've used public transport to get here but when I got off the train I made a bit of a tactical blunder which I'm quite used to doing on this channel to be honest um, what I did was I left the station crossed the main road and turned onto a side road which headed towards Sandwell Valley Country Park I've never been here before so I hadn't realised that the road I was on didn't have any pavement either side of it for quite a way so I've walked about a mile and a half on the side of a very busy road jumping into bushes every five minutes to try and avoid traffic coming my way so that was quite dangerous but you live and learn and I know there's another route out of here that I could take which is going to be a much easier route to take anyway in the meantime I'm here as I've started to walk through the country park what I've discovered is the ruins of the old Sandwell Priory just behind me and I decided to stop and take a few photos of that so I'm gonna get on and take a few photos now and then I'll make a move and see if I can find anything else Well, I hope you like those shots of the Priory, the old ruins of it. Um, I'm heading off now through a woodland to see if I can find the location that I've actually come here to shoot today. I've um, been inspired by some of the images that I've seen from Swanpool that uh, a friend of mine has taken and posted on social media. So I've made a plan to come out here today to go and visit Swanpool and see if I could take some of my own images of the place and I'm just basically on my way to that now I don't really know what to expect obviously I've seen the images previously so I've got some idea of what to expect when I get there but I really don't know how I'm going to feel about it when I get there and what I'm going to end up taking so this is quite an interesting new adventure for me but there is another route out of this place which avoids that road that I walked down earlier and should at least stop me from getting killed on the way home so on we go and let's see what we can find over at Swanpool so just behind me is Swanpool where I was trying to get to and that dull hum of sound that you can hear is just behind these trees the M5 motorway runs along the side of Sandwell Valley Park so I hadn't known that, I hadn't realised that at the time obviously I was quite close to the motorway as I was walking along here but I was safe I just didn't realise where I was so I found these little wooden jetties and there are several of them around the pond um, and I suppose they're really used for viewing platforms to be honest with you so I think I'm going to set my camera up on one or two of these Let's see if I can take some shots of the swamp pool but uh, there's not really much in the way of foreground interest here so I'll have to try and wing it a little bit and see if I can just capture wide angle shots of the pool they may work well as just standard landscape images on their own but we'll have to wait and see so this is an interesting spot um, just in front of me here just over here you can't really see it there's a little cutting in the side of the pool um, looks as though there's kind of um, an outlet pipe just hanging into the pool I don't know what that's all about but uh, that kind of encroaches into the scene as well so I'm gonna have to crop that out in post-production but um, what I've got here is a nice little view where this little cutting in the side of the pool kind of leads your eye out towards the pool and the trees on the other side of it 
It looks quite interesting. There's a lot of different layers of colour here as well, which are quite interesting. And the sun today is beautiful. It's just perfect. There's clouds around, but also sunshine, which is interesting because it's giving you lots of interesting different light on all the trees and so on and the colours really jumping out at you so I think I'm going to stop here for a little while and have a look around and see what else I can find Well I think I'm going to call it a day for this vlog now um, there's not really very much around Swan Pool that I could photograph I uh, looked for a few compositions along the side of the pool itself but there really wasn't very much at all, there was no foreground interest and I couldn't really find anything that captured my eye. I did however manage to capture a shot of a grey heron as I walked around the pond. Um, if that image is any good I'll put it up on the screen now for you. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this vlog and you'd like to see more of me then uh, please like this video, subscribe, send me any comments you like as well, I'm quite happy to hear what you have to say and I'll see you again on another video very soon. Bye for now.